Hello everyone, my name is Apple Guy, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Super Mario 64. In the previous video, we began our adventure by collecting three stars here in bob -omb Battlefield. And in today's video, we're going to collect one more star here in bob -omb's Battlefield before moving on to find a new area. We're going to jump to star number four, find the eight red coins. Here we go! So, red coin missions are very, uh, oh, didn't mean to talk to this sign. Red coin missions are very, uh... They're staples in Mario 3D games, as well as some uh, 2D Mario games. They'll have segments where you need to collect uh, red coins, usually in like a, like a shorter term scenario. You tend to jump through like a, a, a ring, like a red ring, potentially, and then it spawns eight red coins. And from there, you, oops, from there you need to gather the, uh, the red coins, you get a little prize, usually it's like a, a one-up mushroom or something of that sort. In this game, however, much like it is in uh, the sequel, spiritual sequel... Oh hey, we can do this with the shell, by the way. Much like you need to do in uh, Super Mario Sunshine, we actually need to collect all eight red coins in order to get a star. So we'll be collecting the eight red coins here. There we go. You can do that with Koopa shells, if you just uh, hitch a ride on them. You can tend to go for quite a while. They're pretty cool. Oop, we got bubbled. They're pretty cool little ways to get around, especially to go up uh, some terrain that might be a little difficult to go up. Okay, I keep trying to change my camera angle here. We can get a 1-Up Mushroom. 1-Up Mushrooms in this game work very similarly to 1-Up Mushrooms in other Mario games, in the sense that if you lose uh, your life, if you run out of health here in one of these levels, uh, I've explained the health bar in the previous video, like the pie thing, if you run out of health, then you'll get kicked out of the painting, and you will have to start again. And starting again isn't necessarily bad, but you will have to, uh... Oh, nope. You will have to, uh, do all your progress once again, and it will consume a life. And like I said, you only have a handful of lives. Okay, let's go from the top. I'm pretty sure you can, like, kick, do, like, jump kicks like this. Oh, maybe if I knew how to do a jump kick, that would help. There we go. You can do jump kicks like this. I keep trying to crouch to change the camera angle. I think you can do this to- ah, okay. It's whatever. We'll try it maybe one more time. Eh, okay, never mind. You can probably get up there, I'm pretty sure that's what speedrunners do. But we'll just go the standard way. I'm gonna get hit by that. Hey, hopefully we don't get to see what happens when you run out of health. I am about halfway down my health meter. I am about three-fourths way down- I am done with my health meter. This is what happens when you game over. Well, not game over, but you get kicked out, and you get a life consumed. See, I did that on purpose. I did that as a demonstration. Aren't you guys so glad you know what happens now? I hope so. Okay, let's go ahead and quickly gather back all the, the red coins that we had. I actually wasn't really keeping track of the number of coins we had, so it might be for the best that we actually reset, because I need to, te I need to take better, better track. Here we go. Okay, so... There's the second red coin up here. There we go, that's red coin number two. Okay, need to, so I'm gaining a lot of speed. This one here, this one over here is red coin number three. Please get away from me, bob -omb. We will, we'll talk to you in a, in, a, in a future video. We will be discussing you and how you can help us get a, a star. Hint, hint for those who may know of ways you can use bob -omb to get stars. Okay, this is four and five. Perfect, six was down here. 7 is up, and 8 is on the floating island. And that'll be all 8 red coins. Here we go. And of course, grab the 1-up as well, because we need that, because I just lost a life. Ooh, okay. Yes, yeah, so we are we're currently getting a little bit of Mario 64 camera right now. And like I said, Mario 64, fantastic game. Super uh, revolutionary for its time. Changed a lot of things about the Mario game. Uh, style, and yet they couldn't get their camera right. <laughs> At least not to the way that I would like my cameras. But it's fine. There we go. Okay, we need to go back to the cannon now because the last red coin is on the floating island, which we went to at the end of the previous video. You'll notice the Koopa is still running around without clothes on because we took his shell for our own use. Alright. Now we can climb inside this cannon, line up to aim for the tree. That should be good. Perfect. 
and we can get the red coin atop this tree, and it will spawn our star all the way over there. We'll give one big long jump. Did I open this? Ah, uh, I should have opened it. Actually, we'll be just fine, because we can use this cannon to get to where we need to go. Here we are, in, using a ground pound, of course, a very stylish way to enter. And then we just need to go a little bit over this. Perfect, and we can get our power star. Here we go. There we go, and that Goomba in the background wants to say hello. There we go, found the eight red coins, and I will save and continue because I made a backup of my save for this. Now there are uh, a handful of missions more in the bob -omb battlefield area, but we can't do them right now. We'll need a power-up we don't have access to, so in the meantime we'll have to visit another world. We'll go ahead into this world first because it has the one star logo on it, and that said reacting to this, the power star, the door unlocks. And as you can see here we have our next area in the game. This is Womp's Fortress. I hope you guys enjoy the sounds of Womps. We can do star number one, chip off Womps block here in Womps Forest. Hello, the Lucky Two Bros, cutting in with a live update on Mario's progress. He's about to learn a technique for sneaking up on enemies. The trick is this, he has to walk very slowly in order to move quietly. And wrapping up filming techniques reported on earlier, you can look around by tilting the R-stick, pull the R-stick back to view the action from a distance. When you can't move the camera any further, the buzzer will sound. This is Lucky Two Bros, signing off. Giving us a little bit of a hint here, we'll see some new enemies that we have not seen before. I don't consider these guys enemies, but they're more obstacles. It's the wall that will push out and try and stop you. Similarly, here we have a wall pushing in. And actually, that's the floor, not the wall. And iconically, we've got the Thwomps. Thwomp says... Yes, he certainly does. That is a Thwomp. He makes the err sound. It's very funny, and uh, we want the Thwomps to live forever. We also have a Piranha Plant right here. It's asleep, you can jump on it and it'll give you a blue coin. Blue coins are worth 10, so they are pretty useful to get uh, if you want to collect a lot of coins. Which, no spoilers, but we will want to collect a lot of coins. The music will change when you're close to a sleeping guy, by the way. So don't think that like uh, the game's broken or something. The Piranha Plant is asleep, and so uh, it'll play a little lullaby. Sort of as a reminder to be quiet, but we don't really need to be too quiet. Oh, hey, good to see ya. Ow. Okay. Hey, now's a good time for me to talk about regaining life, actually because you can regain life by collecting coins. If you collect a coin, you will heal a little bit of your life. See? It's very simple. Go ahead and stomp this guy. This is what the game over screen looks like. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, that one was an accident. You can only stomp on them when they're quiet and asleep, and that's why we were given the hint by the Lakitu Bros to sneak quietly. Uh, in case you want to take out those guys, and they're going to remind me of it like I don't already know. Here's a shortcut to avoid doing all the fun stuff we just did. It is to get a backflip to get up here, and that allows you to skip over the first two thwomps. And uh, we can approach this guy very quietly. Nope, he heard me. Goodbye. I'll just, I'll talk to you later. We will just uh, go ahead and move on. So here we go, we can go and stand here in the middle, and then this will swing around, and we can walk over here. This is a Womp, not to be confused with a Thwomp. They fall down, and then you can ground pound their backs to break them. They are cracked on the back, have some X's, and you can uh, do that. You can also initiate a ground pound uh, as they're like going to fall and you can glitch right through their their collision. This is a very large thwomp. Hello, very large thwomp. Er, er, it makes me so mad. We build your houses, your castles, we pave your roads, and still you walk all over us. Do you even say thank you? No, well you're not going to wipe your feet on me. I think I'll just crush you for fun. Do you have a problem with that? Just try to pound me, wimp. Ha. This is a very large thwomp that you can defeat by jumping on his back. Just have to wait for him to begin his fall. 
and get on the back and hit him for a big grrr noise. And again, and one final time, should be enough. And make sure you thank your concrete people. No, crush again. I'm just a stepping stone after all. I won't gravel, er, grovel. Here, you win. Take this with you. Thank you, good sir. Everyone, shout out to the concrete you walk on every day, the roads you drive on. If you have a concrete building, the concrete that comprises your building. That stuff's hard to make, and I would know. I'm half a civil engineer. Hey, there's Chip off the Womp's block, and we can go into here. And voila! Star number two to the top of the fortress. So, very similar to the first star we did here in Womp's Fortress, we will need to climb very high and uh, get to areas above the normal level, uh, the normal ground, I, I mean, here in Womp's Fortress. There's a few ways to do that. You can do like a wall kick right here if you're a speedrunner. I am not, so we'll just go ahead and go around the normal way because the normal way is fine enough for, for us. Ain't that so? Okay. I could probably make that jump just over there, but I think instead I will walk and then long jump. Perfect, catch. Don't mind me, I'll just walk around you. Walk around you as well and hitch a ride on this. Perfect, and in place of, uh oh, oh we're, we're fine. In place of a Womp, we will have a bullet bill firing machine. I suppose you could call that a cannon. And we have this tricky tower we have to climb. Some of the floors will go in, and some will go up, like this. And you can use it to ride to the top and claim another Power Star. Here we go. There we go, that's Power Star number 6, for anyone keeping track at home. Or you can just look in the top right corner, and it will tell you that info. Let's do one more star to end off the video here. And that will be shoot into the wild blue all right so shoot into the wild blue requires us to use a cannon shoot into the wild blue is an interesting star okay well i was gonna do a little side trick but we'll go ahead and do it here so over here there is a star it's right there and we need to get it you can approach it from the top you can get onto that above platform just by walking past where those uh, little baby uh, thwomps were or you can do this mission with the cannon to shoot into the wild blue yonder. Here we go, the bob will prepare a cannon for us. Thank you, bob -omb. It's important for you to grab hold of the pole that is right there. Is this a good angle? Let's see. Oh, I don't think it is. All right, let's read the, the hint. What does the hint have to say? Perhaps it's the hint about the blue coins. Is it the hint about the blue coins or do you have a different hint for me? I'd love to read you. I would love to read you. There we go. Break open the blue coin block. Oh yeah, okay. So this is just telling us about the blue coin block. Not really important to this mission. But if we stomp on this, some blue coins will come out. That's 40 coins. That's pretty good. This block is interesting. You can throw it and it gives you coins. So speedrunners will, will do a trick where you basically just do a, a really cool side flip maneuver to get up here. That's honestly easier than using the cannon in my opinion. So we'll just do that and get our 7th power star for the let's play. It's a pretty easy side flip to do, it's faster, and it's just generally not uh, not one you would necessarily want to avoid. I uh, will go ahead and save and continue, because that is the easiest way to progress here. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I think I will end off this video here. In the next episode, we will explore around uh, Womp's Fortress a little bit more, and, uh, and then as we continue to collect more and more power stars, we'll be able to gain access to new areas, and eventually we'll be able to go back to... Uh, the bob on battlefield area of the game and complete the tasks there uh for now ladies and gentlemen that's going to be all i want to thank you all so so much for watching if you have enjoyed please hit like and subscribe and to friends of my channel if you think they would enjoy it it means a lot to me when you guys turn the videos around and i'll catch you guys i'll be back here next time for my next video until then as always take care <laughs>